Hey everyone, I'm Angela Sawsville, therapist and coach. Today I want to share a neuroscience trick with you in case you would like to feel more hope and happiness after the horrific year that we've been through. So our brains create pathways to access negative emotions such as stress and anxiety. And of course, our brain also creates different neural pathways to access positive emotions like hope, security, optimism, all of the things that we could all use more of right about now. Of course, the impact of the pandemic is that the neural pathways that help us activate stress, negativity, fear, and anxiety, well, they've all been well exercised and those neural pathways have gotten stronger. It doesn't mean we've done anything wrong. That's just the impact of being human and living through a pandemic. But here's the interesting thing. The brain has a limited amount of glue it's called neural growth factor. So right now you can either continue to glue your negative pathways into place, or you can start really building and strengthening pathways that get you to positivity instead. And if you continue to work on those, well, the glue that has been holding all of the negative pathways into place, it gets reallocated and it becomes harder and harder for you to really get stressed out and overwhelmed as you spend more time practicing hope and positivity. So here are a few simple ways you might be able to do that. When you talk to somebody who is getting a vaccine, even if you don't have access to the vaccine yet, don't make it a five second conversation. Make it a five minute conversation. Ask them all the happy, hopeful, positive things about, well, what are they going to do now that they have that vaccine? Spend some time sitting with them in the positivity. That activity will build those positive pathways inside your own brain. Another opportunity is if you are planning a trip for this year, don't just blaze through it and get it done. Linger on the web pages and the research and the photos of where you want to go and the places that you're excited to visit and spend more time in that energy of anticipation and optimism about the trip even if it's months away that too will build those positive pathways and then of course there are the people that you love and adore that have been freaking hard to see this year. Start spending more time uh, thinking about who do you wanna go see first? And again, even if it's still a ways off, start noodling on the idea of how could we make that happen and spend time sitting in that excitement. Meanwhile, you're gonna wanna decrease the time you spend in negativity. And for a lot of us, this is gonna look like being more careful and cautious about how much news we consume and what news we consume. Do you really need to read any more articles about the new COVID variants? Come on now. Do you really need to read another heartbreaking story about another family that's lost a family member to this terrible virus? Those are tragic stories, but those are also ways in which your negative pathways continue to get exercised and strengthened. So be really cognizant about pulling away from the negativity, oh, 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 including those political arguments that leave you inflamed. You can still be an involved citizen and consume less of that news. And then start reinvesting more time and more units of energy, thinking about the things that give you hope, the things that make you happy, the things that give you optimism. If this has been helpful, please share it on your feed and pass it along. I'll see you next week.